Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be um, showing you guys a free step solution to our green fly infestation that we have on our apple tree and I will explain each steps as we go along and you might be wondering why I'm wearing gloves and this is for our step one and we are going to be squeezing flies um, some green flies and um, it, it is optional it is optional you do not have to wear gloves but I would very seriously advise that you do wear gloves I am wearing gloves today just but just because I don't want to have all the trouble of trying to get the, the blood off and and stuff So as you can see I found a population and they look like that and we're just going to find a population under a, uh, under a leaf and you can see an ant as well which will be all handy to squash so you guys are not going to be able to see it now but I'm just going to turn the leaf over and we are just going to start get squishing and it isn't very pleasant but it has to be done you can see the that that the, that's all the blood and so we haven't quite destroyed that population so i'm gonna have one more squeeze like so um so i think that's maybe all the um population on that leaf so i'm gonna find another leaf now i'm just gonna turn over my leaves and check so we'll maybe we'll move on to a different section I'm just, we had a little go at this before, just trying to find a few popular, oh, oh okay. Um, so this is, so this is like gardening's gold when you find this stuff. Because it is absolutely wonderful to get rid of. Not as in gold in the good way of gold. But, it's like, it's just, it makes gardeners feel very happy when they find things to kill. So we've found a leaf, um, well we've been checking up and down this bit because it's quite a bit, there's quite a few leaves so we wanted to check this one over quite thoroughly. And there's a curly leaf which is a very good telltale sign that there could be some green flies under there. And ooh, I'm trying to get the angle so you guys can see and I can see. And yeah there is a lot there so I'm just going to squeeze. Like so, and this isn't the pleasantest of jobs, but it needs to be done. So, I'm just trying to kill the majority of them. So, as I said, this isn't a pleasant job, but it's a job that has to be done in order to get crop. But I think most of them are dead, so we'll leave that leaf and hopefully it will return. But um, I'm just trying to find a few more leaves that potentially have some. So we've done quite a bit for step one today. And I just want to give you guys a quick summary. And our first bit of summarising is that they seem to only attack mainly the bigger, the bigger leaves. They also, so we were inspecting a bit the lower tree and the, and um, up, up the top. And they don't seem to be in. They don't seem to be at the bottom. They seem to be at the top. And I don't really have. I don't really have a theory on why this is. Um, but um, they. And the last thing is, they seem to be only at the front. And this isn't because it. They. It, this isn't a thing that you'll find with your apple tree. We just might have caught ours early enough. But onto stage two. Step two. So this is what we will be using for step two, and it is a antibacterial bottle. Um, it's, uh, so it's a spray bottle, and we've put some water and a washing up liquid in it. So as well, they seem to only go for the underside, so we are going to be making sure we spray the underside mostly. So there's a few there that I want to get. 
and hopefully this means that we'll get some crop this year we didn't have any last year because of this problem although we didn't know of this problem just we got i think we got one apple we, i think we only got one apple last year so i was trying to think where all the infestation was that i squeezed on camera for you guys i think it potentially was there so that's where i'm gonna get now i'm gonna do a little bit of the top side as well like so and i can see a few there that we haven't managed to be able to squeeze so i'm gonna squeeze there <laughs> <laughs> Can you not spray it at me? I didn't try to. See my face. So I'm just going to squeeze a fair bit on this um, sex saw. And we also found a fair few here. So I'm going to spray it there as well. So this is going to be quite a mammoth job. But hopefully it will all be worth it in a couple of months time. So we've done a bit on camera for you guys, we'll do the rest off camera and just the places where we couldn't squeeze our fingers into and then we'll move on to the final stage. Step 3 And for step 3 we are going to be using some Vaseline and this isn't Vaseline, this is actually called Petroleum Gel, I think I pronounced that right? And I'll just open it up and I'll show you what it is guys, look so like so it just looks like that and i'll just put the lid down and basically with three fingers i am just going to scoop some vaseline up like so i'm going to put this down for the moment and just around the um tree from about this high i'm going to be placing our vaseline all around like so and so we're gonna have to come back and apply this every couple days i needed to get some more vaseline and this and then we're doing this because this will be this will hopefully help um the uh, this will hopefully help us um these the um so the ant can't climb up and i need a little bit more so i'm just gonna stand out of shot very quickly so i just quickly off camera got some more and i'm gonna be putting this around at the back sector and this is sort of like a barrier, well it is a barrier that will um, stop the ants from being able to climb out. I need a bit more, so I'm going to reach over. So I'll do it over here just to show you guys. So all I'm doing um, is I'm just putting my ha um, three fingers in and I'm scooping a massive bit out. So I'm just going to do, where haven't I done? I think I'll just pick it up like so put a bit round the back so that's a quite a nice barrier there and then a bit around the front um and we should be good for a couple of days so i'm just gonna summarize what we've done in today's episode before i finish out and so step one was operation um squish green flies um, step two was um, with the spray bottle spraying all of the tree and our final step which we just did was we're using our uh, our equivalent of Vaseline we um, put a quite a very thick barrier around our tree trunk but that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like share and subscribe slam that notification bell otherwise you won't be notified when i upload another video and when you do um slam that notification bell make sure you press all and this will notify all of my videos when i upload them but that was it for this grow your imagination upload i'm out bye